Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chilled Relax Playing Content, where we're talking about plans, and we try to learn how to grow them the best we can. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button, let's be plant friends. So, today, we are doing it. We're doing the Sun Room Plant Tour. I'm holding the camera by hand, it's going to be a little shaky, we're fighting against the sun, this is early, because any other, day, any other time of day trying to film in here is really hard. So hopefully I get everything viewed nicely for you guys. And um, yeah, so this is just the plants that I have in my sunroom. You're going to hear the cats. They think it's breakfast time. It's not. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and relax. All right, guys. So it is morning, and I tried to film this last night. But the lighting was really bad. The cats you're going to hear in the background, it's before they get fed. But because I'm in here, they think they're getting fed. So we're just doing a quick pan around just to show you what the room looks like. Uh, I guess we'll start <clears throat> over by the cats because why not? I hope the lighting isn't too bad. There we go. We have a neon or a lemon lime philodendron going on here. It's grown the slowest out of all of the philodendrons I have. This is my white stripe doing really well. This plant is my micans. I think there's a little draft right there or something and so a lot of leaves kind of like fell off. I might have underwatered her too but right here is growing a new like branch and leaf so I'm gonna just let it rock and we're gonna see what happens. This is a philodendron Brazil. She's doing well. And then just my regular heart leaf philodendron, the Hedoraceum or the Scandens. I don't know which one is which. And then I guess we'll pan over here. We'll do the hanging plants first, I guess, and then move on to my shelves. So the sun is starting to come in. So we'll try to maybe like this. Maybe? Is that better? It's hard to tell. So we have a Jade Pothos doing well. We have my Mandula Pothos, my Cebu Blue starting to trail. All these guys when I first potted them up were just uh, like little, they hadn't started trailing yet. This is my Marble Queen Pothos. Maybe with a little bit of the Snow Queen in it. I don't really know. Marble Queen. This is the... I think this is the Pearls and Jade. But I there's I feel like they're just a mixed match of both. But we got those. <laughs> Before I make you guys sick, sorry. So we got the Pearls and Jade. We have my Neon Pathos, which is always... Just sad. Always sad. They, I just, I don't know. This one is also one of my slowest growing uh, pothos. And there's always some dead leaves in there. We'll get those later. Right here, this guy is taking off the fastest. This is the global green pothos. And she's doing really well. Oh, that's a really cool leaf. We got like some some golden in that too. Hmm, really cool. Again, there's some leaves we gotta clean up, but look at her. She's doing really well. And then this I think is labeled as the Enjoy Pothos, which has less of the speckling like on this branch, but then we have like that creamy. Do you see the difference in these leaves? Which one is which? Somebody tell me. But it's fine. It looks good. And then my golden pothos doing well. Um, this is like the second time. I had to buy another one and repot it because the original one I put up here like croaked. But we're doing good now with this one. And then over here, look at this. This is my skindapsis wool. We'll start. Hold on. I had to move something. So this is the Jade Skindapsis. 
to see this long vine and the leaves have stayed relatively large even towards the end I do give it like the miracle grow so waiting on those vines to start trailing and really becoming full and luscious and this guy is my uh, the Pictus Argerius and he I bought him pretty long but he's grown a lot too I have had to cut it a little bit at the bottom because it kind of is getting a little too long but we'll see maybe I'll start trailing them up we have the Trubia Moonlight this guy is just slow but he is growing we do have a leaf right here you know he's just a slower still mostly bush of a plant this is the silvery Anne. we had a little underwatering issue with this guy but we do have some nice long trails the leaves have gotten smaller on this guy but maybe we can get them back with some fertilizer and then look at that leaf this is the exotica and she's also starting to trail really nicely got some really pretty really pretty leaves we got another little trail right there yeah the scandapses have grown the fastest which is really really funny <laughs> all right uh so i guess we will start up here see this is where it's going to be hard i'm not going to be able to like get up there i need a ladder and i i'm not doing that right now so i'll try to zoom in let's see does that work maybe i'm not sure hopefully this is good so this is the uh, Hoya pubicalix. She's got some tendrils that are going up. A couple new leaves growing in right there. Hope you can see. She's doing generally well. My Bertonia. Uh, no real new growth. Oh, right here. I'm um, fibbing. Hopefully you can see that. Got some new leaves growing in right there. Again, these guys are higher up. I can't really see them. Uh, so, and I have cats like batting at my feet. This is the Chelsea, the Hoya Chelsea. She's doing okay, I think. I don't know. I think I got a repotter. You see there's like a crack right there. I don't know if you can see, but there is a crack there. So I eventually have to repot her. My Wayetii is for the most part doing well. We have some new leaves right here coming in. Look how pretty. And back there. That's exciting. And we have three. Ooh, let me. There you go. Three empty baskets that I need to replace. I had the Linearis, uh, an Australis, and something else. But they, they, uh, they went through some stuff during that heat wave. And uh, so, yeah. We're rehabbing those guys. And they're significantly smaller now. Alright, let me back up so you can see. This is my Hoya Compacta, one of three. This is the Hoya Carnosa uh, No ID from Chris over at Chris's Garden Pile. It's doing really well. I don't see any new growth yet, but I did just get her. We do have a peduncle right here. And I think that might be new-ish. So I'm excited to see if that will bloom. Real excited. And then another compacta. Doing okay. My curtsy Doing okay. And then my last compacta. Again, doing okay. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. But um, before... Uh, I recently put up these lights up here and I thought that the skylight oh I gotta I'll show you those guys I guess as I talk but I thought the skylight would be enough light because it does pass through the day and it does hit along this side but I guess it wasn't enough light for the plants so a lot of the plants that were facing like the backs of them you could see it here on the YADI if I can get you in there like half of it is like empty it used to be a full basket but the the part of the the pot next to the wall kind of died back because it wasn't getting enough light 
So, yeah, I put in these um, grow lights up here to help fill them out. All right, and these guys, we have a queen, a princess, a princess, and a queen. So I'm just going to show you some of these leaves. They are, like, beautiful. They're starting to get a little too long. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, we do have a, I think, a fully reverted strand right here. But that's fine. And the queen. This is like the smaller queen that I have. She's doing okay. And then over here is the other queen. I will say the queens grow a little slower than the, um, look at that leaf, than the princesses in my experience. Look how pretty. And then we got this princess beautiful leaves beautiful all right so we have like this wool of plants and then over here we have like this little section of plants I'll turn this off for now so we'll go through this and then we'll hop over and that'll be all of the plants in my sunroom <laughs> all right so I recently treated all of the plants in this little area for mealybugs because I had to. So we have a marble slash snow queen type of plant that was on the struggle bus, but I think she's coming back. This is supposed to be a Jacenia pothos. Uh, she was looking very jade to me right now. I'm hoping with the additional lights above her, she will um, get a little more Jacenia. Hopefully. Hopefully. But if not, she looks really good like that. Over here, kind of in the shadows, we have this. Um, this is supposed to, was supposed to be a Jade Pothos. Uh, but we have some either, that's either a messed up leaf or some marble queen that might be I don't know that doesn't really look marbly to me right I look spotty so we might have to get rid of those leaves so we'll see but we have my jade pothos right there and then coming over here this is another marble queen pothos again she kind of went through it a little bit but we are growing back and look at how pretty that is beautiful all right, and then right here in this little cubby hole is another global green pothos. And she's doing pretty well. Um, she also has kind of, not really reverted, but her uh, markings aren't as prominent. So we got that. And then back there is a Baltic Blue doing really well. Right here. Oh, no, this is the Emerald Pothos. Sorry. Emerald, and then I think this one is the Global Green Pothos. I think. One is one, is one and one is the other. But they're right next to each other. So, yeah. We have another True Beyond Moonlight that did get burnt a little bit um, when it was in the plant room. But we are growing new leaves and doing better than the hanging plant so this is my golden pothos doing really well uh, well doing trying to do well she is starting to bush back out we did have to cut her back a little bit because of the mealies right here is a philodendron brazil and this is such a hardy plant like I've forgotten about this plant and remembered it forgot it it's been through some mealies. It's it's resilient, I will say. And this little planter is a mix of Mikan's, uh, Brazil, and the regular green heart leaf. And back here, can you see? There we go. Is a mixture of pearls and jade, uh, global green. And the smallest amount of neon over there. I will say I struggle the most with 
the Neon Pothos. I'll do a little backup view so you can see the whole little area of what the plants look like. Very cute, very cute. And then over here, we got just a lot of succulents. These are all the succulents I got for my birthday of what, is, what survived, what's left. Um, they're getting a little atoliated because they're just, I guess, not getting enough light despite lights being right above it and the grow lights and my fan lights and the sunlight. So I might move this whole little display into my garage in like my little grow tent. But we'll see. Um, we got, I know this is the moon, moonshine or moonlight, um, Sansevieria. Don't know the names of these. I think there's like a black coral, the Laurentii. Um, that's it. My Bentel Sensation, this is just the pot. It's empty. It's, I think I killed it. This is the whale fin I got from my friend Beanie. She's still doing really good. This was a Fernwood Sansevieria, I think. She died recently. I think I do really need to move this into uh, my garage with the grow tent. These guys are just not that happy here. This is a Cylindrica. And then back here also not happy is the, um, the, f uh, the star shaped. It's supposed to look like the star-shaped uh, Saint Severia, whatever that one's called. But that one's also not doing so well, so yeah, we're going to have to do something with that. But this is what we got going on over here. Real cute, real cute. And if we pan over here, my TV, I moved the string ofs here. So we have the glory, the spades it looks like. We have some hearts. We have, I think this was the needles. I don't think the needles are doing so well. And then we have some variegated hearts. Ooh, let me get my hand out of the way. Some of the variegated hearts. So it's just a mixture. It will eventually work itself, work itself out and look really good. Fill itself out. This is a Dracaena mixed pot. I don't know the names of it. This is the Janet Craig, the White Jewel. I don't know the name of this guy, but it is pretty. It's very pretty to look at. And then my ZZ plants. This is a mixed pot of the green and the black. She is very dusty. I will clean her eventually. All right. So then this guy, we did recently go through all of the, oh, I can't even get it all in the frame, all of the succulents on here. So we'll go through it quickly. So these are my Tradescantias. I'm not sure of the names. I have a tag, but it doesn't really matter. It's a Tradescantia. <laughs> I have five kind of like mixed pots of a bunch of stuff. I know there's a baby bunnies. There's like this fuzzy guy. Just ripped a leaf off. Um, I got to clean these guys up. They look like trash. Then up here, we have the Monstera Peru. Finally doing okay. My uh, string of turtles have not completely died yet, but still not doing great. The Stanleyana Albo is also doing okay right now. So that's exciting. In here I have the Adansonii. This is like the wider form, I think. Um, it's doing okay. Right here is the Monstera Siltipacana back there she's doing okay and then over in there is like the narrow form Adansonii and she's also doing okay I could probably just pull that back for you so you can see her a little more she's doing okay they're pretty resilient they also come back even if they drop all of their leaves up here is a bunch of succulents this is like the shark tooth cactus I forget the name uh, the Watch Team Crassula, the Kelly's Peperomia, a Vanilla Orchid, doing well. All of the cuttings I put in here have survived so far. Various, some type of a string of buttons, another type of buttons, 
red edge button maybe I don't know the name of this this uh, I was gonna say cactus but it's a succulent but it's pretty and then the variegated um, string of buttons this top shelf right here we'll start in the back this is my variegated jade again hasn't died I think we actually might have some new growth too going on that's exciting I can't remember the name of this <laughs> plant but she's not dead so she's not dead black rose succulent something like that this is another type of chrysula I believe doing really well uh, Horthia, another type of Horthia with the cool patterning on the top. Some type of Gasteria, I believe. If you look at the patterning. Another type of Gasteria. Doing really well. Another type of Gasteria. They might be the same types of Gasteria, I'm not 100% sure, but. Yeah, so we got that. Panning over, we have my Syngonium collection. Alright. We have the Albo doing really well. I think that we have a leaf right here unfurling. Looking very variegated. A very large too. Very exciting. The Mojito Syngonium has came back. It's putting out mojito type leaves. Looking really good. This is just a green uh, syngonium. Looking really well. I gotta back up a little bit I think. Mm -hmm. And then this is the Cardi, Cardi Road syngonium with the deep purple backings. You can kind of see it on that leaf right there. But look how beautiful that is. Very pretty. That's a new leaf. This is the Berry Illusion Syngonium with the pink veins. Very pretty with the darker green edges. This guy, I need to get him a steak. This is the Syngonium ooh, Confetti. Look at that leaf. That's beautiful. Yeah, he's he's the, the biggest guy here. We need to get him a steak. He's not doing... He's going to fall over and snap, I'm afraid. This is the Syngonium White Butterfly next to him. Doing really well. This is a newer leaf right here. Really pretty. And then this is the Syngonium Pink. Look at those leaves. This is a newer leaf. It is very pretty. And the backs have like this nice like muted green almost. Really pretty. All right, Syngoniums. This is the Syngonium Maria. Can you see that? It is, it's, that is a stunning plant. It's almost like a orangey red color. Very pretty. And the leaves are starting to get a little bigger. So, that's cool. This is the Go Glow. Looking really well. This is my Macrophylla. It's still just a one leaf. It had a second leaf at some point. It fell off. There is, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it, there is like this growth point, but it hasn't done anything in like at least a month. And then this is the Winlandii Syngonium. Looking really good, looking really good. And then we have underneath here, which are some succulents. We'll go through them quick. My cactus display, my mixed mother of millions and thousands, a uh, Haworthia, my asparagus fern, doing really well. I love that plant. Another type of, ooh, the lighting on that one. Another type of aloe. I can't even get that lighting better. I'm sorry. And then back there, some more Haworthias, little pups. We have some aloe. We have the Hayei. Which has not died, so that's good. Uh, Raptor four, uh, no, Ripsalis, 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 Aloe, uh, Haworthia, or Gastavaria. I think that is, that's what that is. Down here, 
we have my lipstick plants. Uh, this is just how the floor looks, guys. It's not dirt. It's just the, the way the floor looks. <laughs> the Gracilis lipstick plants. Looks okay. The top is starting to grow back, so it's less balding. The Twisted Lipstick Plant is doing very well. And then the regular lipstick plant is not doing that great. I put a piece of variegated lipstick plant that I had propagating back there. And as you can see, it died off. Uh, this is the Mini Variegated Lipstick Plant doing well. This is my mixture of Goldfish Plant doing okay, I think. My Pelia Peppermoides looking crazy, but she's still alive. She's putting out a new little leaf right here. Really cute. If you would focus. And then down here, um, or we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll go down and then work our way up, I think. Okay, so back there, I moved my Oxalis plants into a smaller pot. You can see the little leaf right there coming back up and then this is my Monstera decursiva or Raphidophora decursiva I can't remember we have a fenestrated leaf and some watermarks it's okay my Bogota lipstick plant I love this plant I love her and then my Raphidophora tetrasperma doing pretty well up here uh, the light adjust we have that like inner variegated scandins that's still doing okay. No really new growth coming out yet. The regular green scandins. And then the outer variegated scandins. And then back here is my Peperomia japonica. This is the Peperomia verticulatus or verticulata. And then this is the Peperomia quadrangularis. Quadragularis. It's cute. Alright, up here we have my Peperomia Hope. See the sun's coming in it. It's messing up the lighting. I have to be quicker. Alright, the Peperomia Hope, which is trailing really nicely. The string of coins. I can't remember the name, but we have this whole new stalk. Look at how good that looks. Look at the shadow beautiful and my peperomia blanda uh, my peperomia ca ruby cascade is no longer but it's okay this is my dishidia pectilinoides something like that my jade plant my very large aloe plant I still haven't repotted her <laughs> she's in a like a two inch type of situation with no drainage and my Deschidia Onthianta. So we got that shelf. And then up here, let the light adjust, we have more Haworthias. So I'll just pause at each one to let you get a view and keep it moving. Because I really don't know the names of them. I thought this guy was going to die. He has not died yet, so... There's that. And then we got this Haworthia. Really cool top. We have some Curtsia getting in the way. This Haworthia. Really cool top. This guy looks really cool. He's like a ghosty, like whitish minty color. This guy. I hope I'm not shaking too much, but the angle I'm holding this camera is a little crazy. This guy. This Gustavaria. Look at the, the markings. And the last one. Looks really good. Right. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I will also show you my little kitchen window. So this is a... This is really backlit, but... This is a Tradescantia Zabrina. Uh, Teddy Bear Vine is in that one. The String of Coins. Ooh. Um, a piece of variegated lipstick plants in that one. 
And the one all the way down there, I don't even think you could see it, is a Peperomia Hope. So, this is what my kitchen window looks like. Wow, that is so backlit. I apologize. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, that is my sunroom plant tour. Um, yeah, let me know what uh, any of the succulent names are because I really I don't know any of them. Uh, let me know which ones do you have in your collection and um, do you think I should move my uh, succulents and Sansevieria out by the grow tent? Um, I guess let me try to... This is almost guys. She's a little sweetie pie. Yes yeah, she is. And I'm slowly being surrounded by cats. I have another one right here. Right here, baby. Alright, so, yeah, that's it. These are the plants I have in here. I know, I've been saying I was going to do a tour for a long time, but I did it. I did it. I did it. Yay! -na -na -na. I did it. Bum, bum, bum. Um, put a little thumbs up emoji if you know where that little tune comes from. And uh, I guess until next time, relax plants and peace out <laughs> oh ma'am what a uh, hi hi yeah hello 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 what a sweetie pie all right we gotta go we gotta go okay I'll feed you okay